November 10th, 2038, 417 p.m. What's going on, guys? Jurassic here. Today we're back to Detroit to become human. Marcus has to decide what to do next. He goes to Carl Manfred to get his opinion. Hurtful, mournful, regretful, reflective. I feel like he would definitely appreciate more of a heartful approach, so we'll go with that. Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. Depressed, doubtful, pessimistic, conflicted. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. Advice, big decision, angry. He, of course he's going to ask her advice. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Despairing emotional lost. I miss like, you, Carl. Emotional? Oh, I miss you so much. So I'm trying all the options that I feel like he would have appreciated more when we knew him, because it's been a while since we've actually seen him. That's his son, right? See, now my thing is, obviously they modeled the androids after somebody. So would you, they just automatically assume you're an android if you're the original person they modeled you after? That'd be kind of scary right about now where everyone's turning on deviants. Are they expecting us to give a speech or something? Okay, so we're supposed to talk to each individual group. I'm with you now. We were on a big stage, so I thought we were going to speak to everybody at once. People are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. <laughs> so Marcus basically inspires people by just sitting down and not saying a word. I see why he looks a little bit confused, but glad to have you along. I guess maybe the decisions we've made before this point, maybe the people trust us more since we had most of our relationships up pretty high, at least. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need Very to wrong. the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Side Connor's fate. Is that really everybody? Oh man, his whole head's gone. All right, so we got, it looks like two, three of a different paths. Hold on, we missed somebody. Oh, north. The 
situation, survivors wounded or the camps. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. He has to allow us to ask everything. I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. So we got north situated. We still have to talk to the dude over there and then Connor. Forget his name. Is it Josh? Either Josh or Jacob, right? Yeah, I got no clue on his name. I like the fact that they got the Simons or Aries. The snow people, whatever they're called. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Josh. That was kind of close. So I know that obviously Kara met them at the amusement park, but I wonder how many actually survived. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Of course we have to trust him. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. I feel like trusting Connor and getting him alive to this point has to improve your chances of survival. All right, so we need to inform our people of our choice. I mean, I feel like everybody's on the same page so far. We haven't necessarily made too many split decisions. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. 
March peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities, launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. We've decided to go peaceful this entire time, and I still feel like peaceful is probably the best approach for them to have their own life. I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? I'm really curious to see what different choices people made here. Did we pick what most people did? I don't know, since it's peaceful. Only 52%. But how's that even possible? 50% did the one previously. Huh. Okay, so obviously some pass would only be unlocked if, for example, you managed to keep Simon alive. So if he was dead at this point, obviously that would be in your statistic to not speak to him. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff locked over, though, so I'm guessing that would have been if you were hostile and managed to keep Jericho from blowing up. We got Connor's tree here, but it looks like everything is, like, completely locked. That must be if Connor had infiltrated the camp as one of, like, the main people instead of being a deviant. At 6 a.m. this morning, 10th, the national curfew was declared. Civilian 9 24. will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Madam President! Madam President! Hacking deviant leader worrying theft? Yes, the hacking? Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Uh, let's Madam see, President. Deviant, Intelligent Life, Cyber Life. Like Intelligent Life? Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. We're Madam sort of President. trying to plant with the... Madam President! News agencies about the public opinion, why androids are good, Madam, so we'll just keep Madam doing President, these options. Public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Madam President! Please. Once again, we haven't done anything to prove please. that we're dangerous Warrior, yet. Please. So let's see here. Jericho Assault Army Recall Centers. Uh, Deviants is just on the other side. I don't want to give her any good talking subjects, so we'll come please. over here and do Jericho's Madam Assault. President. Please. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. I wonder if you answer everything correctly, if that would change 
something later on. November 11th, 2038. 10.48 p.m. Time to infiltrate Cyberlife. Now, at this point, surely the humans know that Connor betrayed him, right? Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. The only way this is going to work with a peaceful protest, though, is maybe if Connor manages to turn on all these thousand robots, that would be a ginormous march, which might intimidate them without even having to go into the violent approach. Because I feel like the peaceful approach, just like last time, is going to have a choice of where you want to keep peaceful or you want to just swap over and start killing people. That's what it did last time for us, at least. But if you do that, your message is sort of thrown away since you're no longer going to be peaceful trying to prove your humanity. You're just a savage machine. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Interesting helmet. Anything cool to see around here, Connor? I haven't seen a newspaper in a little bit either. Let's see. All we gotta do is follow the guard. Looks like there's no other side objectives. Agent 23. I am kind of curious how we're supposed to branch away though. Connor, Android identified. Agent 77 identified. And the way that we've been playing the game so far, my only issue is that Amanda has this in the betrayed column. So I wonder if having her in like a better relationship would give you a higher chance of getting to the androids in time to save the day, basically. Although we are just walking right on in here without anything bad happening yet. So I'm really curious what your relationship with her has to do with anything. I understand Hank and I understand Marcus and Kara. All of them have people that actually go with them. But Connor has Amanda, who we only technically see her sometimes inside of our mind. Voice recognition validated. Access your house, level 49. All right, so neutralize the guards. Stop the elevator before floor 31. Like we have to bring instruct. There's no way just clicking the button from is going to work. So if we attack the guy on the left, would that work? We come over here, and then we have an option of smacking him in the head. Ooh, no, no, no. So we need to get to that guy before he manages to pull his gun out. Maybe kick him in the leg. Come over and smack the other dude. That didn't work. Because he tries to take the gun, so he slows down a whole bunch doing it that way. Uh, let's see. We can't attack his head or anything, so let's punch you. And we know the head doesn't work, though, right? Yeah, every single time we do that, it's going to shoot us. So if we kick him... Oh, is that all we had to do was kick him? That gives us long enough time to disarm that guy without getting a gun pulled on us. Sweet! All right, so let's just do this. Make sure we don't miss any of the QTEs, and we should be fine. Let's see, now Connor, he gets all the cool combat training sequences. I'm guessing all this stuff later on in the game, like now, really matters. That was awesome. All right, change elevator destination. Please indicate your identity and destination. I feel like we have to use Agent 54's Agent voice. 54. Level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. But at the same time, Connor probably has the clearance. Westside Industrial, Detroit. 
10:51 p.m. Reach the bus the terminal. Bus in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. All right, so we got 20 minutes to make it all the way across town. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Deactivate, leave on. See, now I feel like leaving it on would make her appear more human to somebody else, and they might just see us as like a mother child thing and just sort of move us along. Where if we just turn her emotions off, it would give her away way too easy as an android. Plus the fact that we haven't actually told Alice she's a robot? Or under, as far as I'm aware at least, she still thinks she's a human. Okay, so our only option is to pick up the gun. soldiers so basically whenever they're looking away from us we're going to try to just move vehicle to vehicle and these two aren't really moving too much though what if you can fail this part there are soldiers everywhere we need to be careful Get moving. Alright, so he's at least cleared the truck. I can't look any further back though, so I'm assuming it's going to be clear now. Hurry up, get in. Alright, so they're loading up that way. Oh, we have to go over to the right? Why well, do we pick the pickup truck though? I feel like that guy can see us there. Let's get this car over here in the back right. Save Luther, keep going. All right, fine, we'll save him. Okay, let's go. So I feel like Luther, he should at least be able to pick up some of these guards and like toss them around like ragdolls if we actually need it. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got an order to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids. All right, so those two are going to walk past us. Hopefully they don't turn around. Um, I mean, we can get over to the next car at least. You stay down here. We need to find a weapon. We picked up the gun earlier, but I guess she doesn't want to use that. Is a brick the only option we have? So I'm hoping there's not like a second weapon or something that if we accidentally see like pick up like the first thing we see and fail it. Well, this seems to be the only approach. So let's see here. Approach slowly. No sudden movements, and bam! Smack him in the head. Carol! You shouldn't have risked your life to save me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Carl, you saved us. 
We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Alice! Luther! I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Alright, so he's going to be walking back and forth. We don't want to get anywhere next to his light, so he definitely has to go away. Now, my thing though is, is he going to be patrolling this entire street? Or did they design it so it's only going to be in like a small area wherever the player is? Alright, so he's distracted that way. Once again, we got Andrews over in like till. Ooh. That dude did not hesitate any time to kill everybody. Now, is he able to see us from over there, though? So it looks like his gun's off to the side, so we might be clear. But my only thing that I'm worrying about is his flashlight is sort of pointed in our area. It looks like the closer dude, though, he's just refusing to go anywhere. So whenever he looks the opposite way, we should be able to move on to the next car. Uh, I feel bad for Luther. Big giant 20 foot tall android trying to hide behind a little smart car. All right, so we are going to book it as soon as this dude turns away. Any day now, buddy. There we go. Run! Or subtly walk away. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Choose a route. So my thing is we have a passport, but we got the passport when Luther wasn't with us in a group. So considering the fact that he's literally following us now, I feel like we have to go the safer route. Plus the fact that you know, obviously they were screening that one dude beforehand if he was an android or not. And it just seems like a much more risky approach that probably will fail anyways. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Woodward Avenue. At 56 p.m. All right, so we got to do is march towards the camp. Now, it looks like there is a very heavy military presence around here. We really hope we chose the right approach. This is the only way, though, to show that we're worth having our own freedom though so i feel like if we had just gone with a loud approach they would just call in the military have tanks in here and just start just completely blowing us out of the water nobody's saying anything to us though and we do have really high public opinion i'm pretty sure every single chance that we had public opinion's gone up i don't think we've done any segments where the Opinion's gone down. If we have, it's definitely outweighed by the good, at least. Here we are. The moment of truth. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. Stand by. They're not going to shoot us. Dude, look at that. We're getting all this good publicity. Look how many androids we have. Peaceful provoke or fur. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now or we will open fire. That's not good. There's 
no turning back now. Firm, calm, or acute. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. goes up while they're shooting us. Ooh, that would definitely hit Marcus. And we better not have got everybody killed. Neil sits, raise hands, raise fist. I feel like fist is aggressive. Hands is sort of submissive. Kneeling down definitely seems like like going to oppressor, so we'll sit down. You kneeling, you like kneel before a key. Protesters? Plus, all protests are done sitting down for some reason, so may as well join them. Hold your fire. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out as long as we can. Cyberlife Tower. 11.01 p.m. Well, that's not good. Shit. Yeah, the security camera up there makes sense. Are we gonna have time to like plan our attack? What now? Oh, we're just supposed to attack everything? All right, hold on. Boom, boom, boom. You and you. I am the android sent to destroy Cyber. But he looks so peaceful in here. But none of them look like us. I was expecting like a whole warehouse full of Connors since this is where we were made. AP 700. We're RK model. Convert. Join me. Leave the others. Or not? No. This is so much easier as Marcus. Hold on. Do this and that. And beat him into submission. Piece of shit. Step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal downtown. 11.15 p.m. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus has left the terminal. There will be no more buses until further notice. We missed it. We're stuck here. What are we going to do now? Checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. All right. Well, maybe that was the bad approach. But then again, we might have saved everybody by not getting to the bus in time. Because they're checking everybody now, and they're not even anywhere near getting on a bus. I mean, there's this big open way right here, so it's not really too much secrecy around here, right? Adam. Kara, quick! Follow me. Keep your voice down. Man's over here screaming while we're trying to do a stealth mission. And she left her headlights on. Oh, thank God you're alive. Oh, oh my God. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. 
Where did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. Plaza, downtown, 11.08 p.m. So all we gotta do is reinforce the barricade. Help me. That's going to be it for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>